All right, what is up guys? Ivan from Bravis.com. And in today's tutorial, we're gonna look at servo motors. Um, I wanted to do a tutorial on servo motors because if you look at our YouTube channel, uh, we've done a lot of tutorials using stepper motors. Uh, stepper motors are really cool and all that, but uh, they are a little bit expensive. And if your project needs a lot of uh, mechanical movements, uh, sometimes using only uh, stepper motors can get expensive. Uh, so basically if your project doesn't need that precise of a movement that is provided by stepper motors, uh, then maybe a servo motor could work. Uh, so what we're going to do today, as you can see I have it set up here, I have four standard servos and I'm going to control all four of them using this uh, regular joystick. Uh, each axis, left and right, up down, is going to control two at a time and they're going to rotate in different directions so we can see uh, the movements. And what we're going to use to connect all these servos is this module right here. Let me just switch up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And there it is. This is the PCA9685 PWM module. Uh, very easy, easy module to work with. Uh, what's cool about it, it's got an external power connector right here. Uh, what we're using today is a 5 volt 2 amps uh, external power supply to power the servos. Uh, the servos can take a lot of current. So you can't really power them directly from an UNO, uh, so you should use an external power supply, so that's easy to connect here. They, there is 16 connections here at the bottom, so you could connect up to 16 servos. Uh, also, this board can be used as a PWM uh, controller, uh, so maybe in a future tutorial I'll, do, I'll use this board and, and uh, light up 16 LEDs. Uh, with this module we could fade them low, high and in between, so up to 16. And what's cool about this module is that it uses the I2C protocol and that means that on our UNO right here, we only need two pins. Uh, so two pins for up to 16 servos at a time. So, uh, so today I found a library uh, that's pretty uh, easy to use and we're going to go check, out, uh, check out the code right now and then come back and test everything out. So let's go check that code. All right, so here's the code we're going to use today. Uh, so let's go at the beginning, so we're including the library right here and we're defining the address, the I2C address. Uh, each one of those uh, PCA9685 modules uh, come with a default address of 0x40. Uh, now if you look at the image on the screen right now, you can change that address by removing uh, some of the resistors here to change the, uh, the address if you want to link a couple of them together. Uh, so basically if you, um, if you look on the right and the left side, uh, there is um, the same connections. Uh, so basically you could link two together and that way you would have uh, the possibility to control up to 32 uh, servos. Uh, so that's the address by default though. So we only have one so we're using this. And then we're defining joy X and joy Y uh, are connected to A0 and A1 on our joystick to read the uh, analog values of the joysticks. Uh, moving along, uh, we got some uh, variables here. Since I'm using four uh, servos today. So I'm going to have four variables to hold the map values. Uh, one will go forward, one will go backward. Uh, we'll see that a little bit uh, at the bottom here. And then we're defining the uh, library with the address we assigned and the setup. So we're initializing the module in servo mode because uh, you could put it in PWM mode if you want to connect uh, LEDs and control LEDs with this module also. Uh, I might do a tutorial on that. Um, uh, basically it's the same module but using it in a different way to control LEDs, uh, fade in, uh, fade out, stuff like that. And then uh, we wake it up uh, by saying sleep is equal to, well not equal but uh, false, wake up the module and we got our main loop here and that's all it is right here. So the first thing we do is that uh, we create two variables val1x and val1y which are going to analog read the joystick x axis and y axis. So we read the curve and value and put them in the, these variables here. And then we're mapping the joystick axis value to the servo min and max position. Uh, the uh, joystick goes from, when you move it, it goes from 0 to 1023. And from my testing, these servos are not modified. They're 180 degrees around that. And the values are from 10 to 420. So what I'm doing basically is mapping the values of the joystick to be in this range here, which are the servos. 
And now servo x forward, I'm reversing it, so 0 will be equal to 420, 1023 will become 10. And backwards, 0, 1023 will be 10, 420. So that way they move, and you'll see when we do the testing uh, how that, that affects the uh, movement of the servos. And then servo y, servo backwards, same thing here, so we're just mapping different values. And then we just move the, servo, uh, the servos to their position, depending on how I move the joystick. And with this um, library, it's very simple. You just uh, call the library dot servo. You select the channel that's connected on, and you say move to that position, and that's it. So that's it. It's going to loop through that. So as I move the joystick, the mapping are changing, and the servos are moving differently. So there you go. That's the whole code for today. Very simple. Uh, you could have two uh, joystick if you wanted, and then you would read more values, and then you could control. Uh, servos different ways. So I invite you guys to play around with these numbers and um, you know it's an easy introduction on how to use the uh, this module here to control servos. So hopefully uh, this is helpful for you guys. So we're gonna cut here and we're gonna go back to the testing and uh, see what happens. All right welcome back. So we looked at the code. I uh, already uploaded the code to the Uno right here. Uh, the Uno is powered by USB and we're powering the PCA uh, module here uh, using, like I said, a 5 volt, 2 amps uh, external power supply. Everything is connected. I've identified the servos. You got 0, 4, 8, and 12. These corresponds to, of course, the connection on the uh, modules right here. So I'm going to take the uh, joystick and I'm going to start doing some movements here. So I'm going to start with the X axis and I'm going to go slowly. And as you can see, the last two here are starting to move in opposite direction because of the mapping function. And that's the full revolution. And then I'm going to release, it comes back, go the other way, slowly. And they're following. And release. Now I'm going to go up and down. So the two middle ones should move. And there they are. And there we go. Come back to the center and go back the other way. Come back to the center, and if I go in diagonal, then all four will move. Oop, if I can get it, there we go. And they're all moving at the same time. So the little module actually controls the servo, and the Uno takes the information from the joystick as you see it right here. So there you go. All right, so it's pretty cool. I mean, you could have two joysticks so it could control all four servos independently on the uh, both x-axis and both y uh, but this is a quick tutorial to show you how to use these little modules here to connect a bunch of servos and using only two pins uh, so yeah, I invite you to experiment with this and uh, make your own code and play around with uh, uh, with servos so all right so that's it so let's go back to the main camera and wrap things up all right, so that'll do it for today, guys. Uh, hopefully, uh, this tutorial was helpful uh, to some of you uh, just getting started uh, using uh, servos. Of course, you can connect, like I said at the beginning, connect servos directly on an Uno. Uh, you can't really power them directly from the Uno, uh, but you can connect them and surely use them. Uh, but using the PCA a little board here uh, makes that a little bit easier. And also, you have a lot more possibilities because you can connect up to 16. And also, like I always say, guys, if you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, that way you'll get notified when we post new ones. And I invite you to visit our website, brainabus.com, uh, where we sell parts and also at brainabus.com slash tutorials, uh, where you'll find pages of all the tutorials that we do, where you can copy the code, download the, the libraries that we use, see the schematics and a lot more information. So I invite you guys to visit us there also. So that's it for today, guys. As always, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.